After all the studying you've been doing, we thought it might be nice to have a little break. So for this sketch, we're going to head out to the lake. But we're not going to just any lake. We're going to Tin Fish Lake, as you can see from this sign here. See that TNF alpha on the sign? That's definitely a sign that this sketch is about TNF inhibitors. I promise to try not to say sign any more times. Anyway, TNF inhibitors are a group of anti-inflammatory biologic agents that are used to treat certain autoimmune and immune-mediated conditions. They work by binding to and inhibiting TNF-alpha, which is a cytokine that's released by macrophages and other cells during the inflammatory response. So if you're wondering why this lake is named Tin Fish Lake, well, that's because of all the tin fish, obviously. They're probably one of those horrible invasive species. Anyway, to complete the symbol, we've given their shiny tin fish bodies a bit of an alpha shape. And that's because TNF-alpha plays a crucial role in the pathogenesis of specific immune diseases and some malignancies. And that's where these inhibitors come into play. Since we're here, let's cast about for some memorable symbols, and we'll start with this fishing rod. You'll notice it's antibody-shaped, and that's because we're going to focus on the monoclonal antibody TNF inhibitors first. These drugs all end with MAB, and we've symbolized them as fishing lures on the end of this rod because the antibodies bind TNF and inhibit it, kind of like fishing lures bind fish and inhibit them. I don't really know a lot about fishing. But one thing I do know is that fishing lures never have names like worm or bug. They're always called something cool like inflictor. So first up, we have this spiky lure named the inflictor to remind you of infliximab. And then next on the line, we have a doll lure for adolimumab. That's adolimumab. Next up, a certified authentic check and check tin fish lure for sertolizumab. And last but not least, we've got this green lure that looks like a green light for go for golimumab.